Nyla, we're going to go into our lightning round portion of the evening. So this is the fun part where I ask you 10 random silly questions and you just answer them as fast as you can. And oh, if gosh. you want to give a little bit more in-depth information, that is always welcomed on here. Uh, so I, here we I, go. I'm nervous. This is where I'm going to get canceled. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. That's always everybody's biggest fear, right? Like, don't <laughs> cancel me. It was a joke. That's how I feel, too. <laughs> um, question number one. Weird food combinations. Pizza dipped in ranch, yes or no? Hell yes. Absolutely. That's not even weird. I don't think that's weird. Is that weird? Nyla, I put out a video of me dipping my pizza in ranch and people lost their marbles, okay? People were canceling me. <laughs> <laughs> You can't be canceled for pizza. I'll I'll cancel the cancel. You're uncanceled. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy. Uh, question number two. What is your favorite 80s or 90s movie? Oh, gosh. Um, off the top of my head, Airborne. It's a little, little known film with uh, Shane McDermott. It actually, Jack Black, I think it's like probably one of his first roles. It was about a rollerblader who moved from California to like, Wisconsin or something crazy. Uh, Seth Green is in it. It's a fantastic movie. Go watch it. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, you, you got me. Seen I'll it like watch 300 it. times. I haven't seen it, so I'm going to watch it. I'll get Please. back to you on my review. <laughs> Do it. Question number three. If you could get married to any cartoon or fictional character, who would it be? Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Uh, uh, Mystique from X-Men. Uh, I think... I think it would be fun, you know, we, we could, she, she could be different people. So it's like, you got one person, but you're also got like a lot of people. I don't know. Exactly. There you go. Switch it up. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. Have you ever been on a really bad date? If so, what <laughs> happened? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure all of us have been on a really bad date. If, if anybody says they haven't, they're lying. Um, I, I don't know how much detail I should go into. You can give us the PG details, whatever you want to give us. Uh, let's 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 just let's just say the date ended really quickly. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll just leave it up to mystery. Uh, yeah. Question number five: What's something you've always wanted to do but never had the oppor opportunity to do so yet? Uh, skydive. Oh yeah. Uh, skydive and and and. Uh, Ride a camel. I don't know why. Like that's that's a thing, but like I want to do it. I want to try it. Like ever since I saw Mummy with you know the Brendan Fraser movie, yes. like, I've wanted to ride a camel. I, I don't know. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Question six. What is your must-have beauty product? Eyeliner. A nice oh, yes. a nice black liquid liner. I feel you on that one. You should try the um, rare one by Selena Gomez. I just bought it. It's really good. Other than that, I use the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Really good too. Just in case. That's you're a good one. That's you know. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what I'm using right now. It came in my boxy charm, and I was like, let's give it a shot. And it's it's been magical. I probably should like write it down so I can get another one. But it's it's fantastic. Yes, write it down because sometimes you try things and they're a disaster and you're like, oh, I should have kept what I was using before. Yeah, I, I spent how much on this? And you just like, talk. <laughs> Question seven. What is the last thing you do before going to bed? <laughs> uh, total honest question here. I will eat a gummy of some sort. Like I, I, that last little bit of sweetness, like I don't know what it is, like either like a hot tamale or, you know, like the uh, sour gummy worms. Trolleys. Yeah. Like just having, you know, two or three of those, that last bit of sweetness. <laughs> That's very interesting. I like that, though, because I feel like everybody likes something sweet after dinner, but not necessarily right before bed. So that's yeah, interesting. It, don't tell Britt Baker. She'll probably like eat me alive for eating candy like right before bed. But like just just, you know, one or two, just just enough. You can just tell her that you floss directly right after that. <laughs> yeah, it counts if you brush your teeth in your dreams, right? Like That counts. It counts. <laughs> Question eight. <laughs> what is the worst house chore to do? Folding laundry. Oh, Folding. I think that's like a universal thing. If it weren't, if it wasn't, people wouldn't understand the chair. Everybody that's has a, the chair. 
<laughs> That's true. I got a chair. I hid that thing in my closet, though. I was like, no, at least no one's going to see that it's there. Yeah, see? See? <laughs> uh, question number nine. Do you prefer night or morning showers? I prefer night showers. Uh, yes. After, I, I personally don't see the sense in showering early in the day when you're going to go get stinky. Like, you know, you, you wash the key areas. Absolutely. You know, you wash all the key areas, you freshen up or, you know, depending on what the day's activities are, definitely take a shower. But if you're doing nothing, like if it's a nothing day, you're not going to get dirty. You're not going to get stinky. Go shower. You'll wake up. You're already clean. You're ready to go. Exactly. And, and it's relaxing. Like, it's relaxing. Yes. It's better to go to sleep fresh, right? Yes. Alrighty. And last question, question number 10. If you could have a mansion anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, ah, uh, geez. Um, a mansion, a whole mansion. Whole mansion to yourself. Uh, I would probably say Japan. I would oh, probably okay. say Japan. Like I, I fell in love with it there. Um, that would be a nice little uh, getaway place to have. You know, just kind of like kind of central to the world. You can get anywhere from there. Um, yeah, probably Japan. That's a good pick. I can't wait to see your mansion in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, make Nyla. it in The Sims. Yeah, there you go. That's the place to get it at. Nyla, I want to thank you so much for doing this interview. For everyone watching, please do not forget to watch AW Full Gear this Saturday, November 7th. All right, everyone. Also, Nyla, before we go, go ahead and plug in anything you want to plug in, social media or anything. Uh, definitely. Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you did, you made my job easy. I was just gonna, I was gonna talk about full gear and the fact that I'm going to be the first two time champion. Um, but if you want to follow more and then like actually know where you can watch full gear sides from BR live or fight TV, uh, Nyla Rose beast on all the, all the media things, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, just follow me and, um, Twitch. I'm on Twitch kind of <laughs> Nyla Rose beast and, and I'll, I'll, you know, be wacky or something. I don't know. I love that. Well, I'm going to post all the links to all your social medias in the description box below. So if you guys want to follow Nyla, you can definitely find that in the description box. Before you go, thank you so much, Nyla. And guys, please do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome interviews like this one. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.